If your tiny house is equipped with a bathtub or shower with a large shower head, or you have a shower but are located in an area where your fresh water reaches near freezing temperatures in winter, there are a few things you need to be aware of when using them with a Truma Aquago water heater, particularly in winter time. The bath faucet and large shower head demand a lot of water which affects the temperature. The first thing to be aware of is that the Truma water heater is an on-demand water heater. This means that it does not store a supply of hot water. Instead, it heats the water as the water passes through the propane burner inside the water heater. There are three important things that need to be taken into consideration when using this water heater. The pressure of the water, the temperature of the incoming cold water from your fresh water source on site, and the flow of gas. Let's start with the pressure of the water coming in. If the water pressure coming into the tiny house is too high, it will simply pass through the water heater faster than it can heat it. We supply you with a water regulator when you purchase the tiny house as part of the setup kit. This keeps the water coming in from exceeding 50 psi. This works great in the warmer weather. But if you have a bathtub or larger shower head, it may not be low enough for winter use. This brings us to the next factor to consider, the fresh water temperature. In cold climates, the temperature of the water coming into your tiny house can drop considerably. When it does, we cannot expect the heater to warm it up fast enough to the same temperature as in summer if there is a large demand on the other end. A common thing which happens is a water heater will show an error code and you may experience an inconsistent flow of hot water. This is typically only an issue for bathtubs and large shower heads which have a higher flow rating. The kitchen and bathroom sink faucets will operate as normal. To avoid reducing the pressure even further and slowing down the flow of the bathroom and kitchen faucet, there is a simple fix. For the large shower heads, you will find a valve on top of the head. In winter, you will need to adjust this to slow down the flow of water to allow the heater to keep up. For the bathtub, instead of opening the faucet all the way, slow it down. It will take a bit longer to fill, but you will get nice steady warm water. The final factor to consider is the flow of propane gas coming to the water heater. In winter, propane can freeze up in your propane bottles, which in turn reduces the gas flow to the water heater. To help with this issue, we recommend you install a tank blanket around your propane bottles. If you are in an extremely cold area, you may want to consider a heated blanket. Check out the link in the description for these blankets. And that's it. Those are a few tips for keeping your shower and bath water warmer during the winter. Dreaming of owning your own tiny house? Visit our website to see our available tiny houses or to book a free consultation call where we can answer all your questions. For more Mint Tiny House content, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to never miss out on what we have in store.